Hi, this is Bob Kay from the AMD World Championship. We're here today in Sturgis 2010, and I have Kevin with me from Pro One Cycle. At uh, first glance, you might look at Kevin's entry into the freestyle class as something more of a traditional bobber, but on a second look, there's really quite a lot of detail and some really different approaches. So Kevin, can you tell us, uh, what was your design objectives or uh, what was your inspiration on building this bike? Well, we started out with the old board track racer frame, you know, then we just kept trying to think of a name and we went, you know, we put a shovel head in it and uh, we just, the shovel, we decided we're going to use a shovel for a rear seat and a shovel for the rear fender on it, you know, to try to keep it inspirated with a shovel head, you know, and as we thought about what we were going to name it, we wanted to name it something in the shovel line. And when I bought the shovels, the shovels were called Razorback. So actually we named the bike the Razorback. We did some Razorback design in the tanks, the license plate mount, a couple other small parts in it. Um, you know, we tried to keep all the lines clean and straight together. You know, we wanted to go with something different than chrome, so we went with the black and the orange, and we went with black chrome on it instead of a traditional white chrome. Um, all the paint is black, the Harley Racing Orange, we did 24 karat gold leaf on the tanks. You know, all the stainless steel, all the oil lines are done stainless steel, all the nuts and bolts are stainless steel. You know, we fabricated a lot of the parts on this thing. And we tried to keep it old, traditional, and it's, you know, it's kind of a bobber, it's kind of a board track racer, it's, you know, it's a one-off, it's just, I mean, we... You know, we don't know where we're at with this. It's definitely a modified bike. But. Well, you really have a, a real theme going here, and you know, obviously those aren't a set of tanks that you just buy off the shelf, and you got some nice finish and attachments. Tell us what it took to construct those tanks and get them to line up so nice with the chassis. Well, actually, the tanks, the oil bag is on the right side. Feeds all the oil lines, feeds on the right side. The fuel bag is on the left side. And actually, the fuel bag inner cups inside the oil bag, just like the old 45s used to do back in the old days. And they go right through the bone of the backbone of the bike. Um, that keeps them all right tight and together with the tanks. So. Well, really, the execution, again, is excellent. So what, what about that chassis? That's not something I've seen before. You've got some nice uh, things going on. Looks like a little leaf suspension or something there. Uh, to tell us a little bit more about your chassis. Right. Well, again, with the old Vortec racer frame, they used to use the old leaf springs in the front end. So when we designed the seat, you know, we decided we wanted to go with some kind of a shock on the seat, and we decided we'd go with a leaf spring on the seat also to keep it in line with the front end. Um, the chassis is the U.S. Chopper's frame. It's a board track type racer frame, and we've done quite a few modifications to it. Did all our wiring panel inside the frame, built the spring perches in it, um, built transmission mounts, built fender mounts on the frame. You know, just try to keep it all in line, try to keep our lines together, you know. Well, you've told us this shovel theme bike obviously has the shovel head engine in it. Has there been any modifications done to that shovel head? Well, we boarded 10 over that was pretty much a stock motor. I had an old basket case, um, 77 shovel head. We put uh, Andrew's EV1 cam in it because we're running the Magneto. The, oh, it's a Joe Hunt Magneto, and it's, so we run the EV1 cam with the Joe Hunt Magneto. We're running the transmission of stock Harley-Davidson four-speed, running an Evo belt drive with it. You know, it's pretty much stock, just a little bit of cam in it, make it easier to start with that Joe Magneto in it. Well, nothing wrong with that. A good, strong running shovel head really enhances the theme of your bike. Um, this didn't come together in a couple hours, I'm sure. What kind of hours, how many hours, what kind of time you got in this? You know, we built this bike for, for a chopper show, and believe it or not, we got about six weeks into fabrication after we, we kind of threw it together, and then we tore, you know, did all the modifications, took it back apart, and actually we finished the last day of the chopper show and did it in about six weeks. Well, that's excellent. I'm, I'm sure that was a pretty heavy-duty six weeks. A lot of dedication and some hard work. Really appreciate you taking the time, Kevin, to come out and enter into the AMD World Championship. Wish you good luck in the competition and hope to see you again next year. All right, thank you. Hello, I'm Shelby, and you're watching the AMD World Championship of Custom Bike Building Bitcast. We are sponsored in part by Screaming Eagle Performance Parts, Black Hills Harley-Davidson, K&N Performance Filters.